Hello children this is your social science teacher Suji and this is your chapter 3 human heritage video 3 Next we are going to see about Tansen Tansen was one of the great singer composer of Hindustani classical music He was born in Gwalior about 600 years ago Tansen was not only an expert at singing but also at instrumental music he was one of the nine jewels or ratnas in mughal emperor akbar's court he was one of the nine jewels in mughal emperor akbar's court <coughs> okay first of all you have to know who were the nine jewels Abul Fazl Raja Chotar Mall Abdul Rahim Khan Raja Birbal Mulla Do Piazza Shaikh Faizi Fahir Azizuddin Tansen Raja Man Singh Okay these people were the nine jewels in Mughal emperor Akbar's court Tansen was one of them He was also honored with title Mian by Akbar it is believed that he was so impactful as a singer okay that his raga deepak could light lamps raga deepak could light lamps and raga mega malhar could bring down rain it is believed that his raga deepak could light lamps and raga mega malhar could bring down rain it is believed like that okay so he was such a sweet singer <clears throat> next a music festival is held at tansen's tomb in gwalior every year next we are going to uh, see something about mirza galib mirza galib's real name was Mirza Asadullah Begon what is his real name Mirza Asadullah Begon okay he is considered to be the most famous poet of urdu language in india born in 1797 in the city of agra he became a poet at the age of 11 at the age of 11 He later served as a poet and royal historian in the court of Mughal king Bahadur Shah Zafar. Many of his poems were composed as ghazals. He wrote letters that became famous and his work also popularized the Urdu language. Ghalib has inspired generation of Urdu poets. Institutes like Aivani Galib in Delhi have been set up to honor his work. Okay, what's the name of the institute? Aivani Galib. And a film in nineteen fifty four and a television serial in nineteen eighty eight have been made on the life of Mirza Galib. So he was such a famous personality. Okay. Next, we are going to see about a great and proud woman of India, Savitri Bai Phule. Savitri Bai Phule was born in eighteen thirty one in Nagan. It is in Maharashtra. Okay, where it is? It's actually in Maharashtra. She was. A social worker who played an important role in women's education in india she was the wife of great social worker jyotirao phule she was the wife of great social worker jyotirao phule she belonged to a lower caste and had to face humiliation 
because at that time women were not allowed to go to schools or educate themselves do you know the meaning for humiliation insult to make someone feel ashamed or stupid often publicly okay in front of public someone is insulting that is called as humiliation so savitri bai phule she also faced that kind of humiliation so even though she faced lot and lots of humiliation she put a brave friend and completed her education even after marriage and started teaching girls she was chosen as the first indian headmistress of the first school for girls which is opened in pune india and she died while serving plague patients during an epidemic okay plague is type of a fever let us salute the brave women of india savitri bai phule who was the first lady teacher of india so children based on this video there are few questions first one who stands in who are the nine jewels in akbar's coat what is the real name of mirza galib name any one institute that have been set up to honor mirza galib's work who was chosen as the first headmistress of first girls school in india refer counter book page number 48 for answer okay so children thanks for watching the video keep watching the rest stuff of the lesson will be continued in video 4